Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel with another maths tutorial video today. In my today's video, I am going to explain you one of the most important chapter of mathematics that is linear equation in one variable. So let's get started. At first, let's understand what is an equation. Here is a statement 9 plus 5 equal to 14. In this statement, the equal symbol or equal sign is there. Such a statement involving the equal sign is called a statement of equality or simply an equality. But there are no variables in this kind of statements. Now let's see another expression here x plus 2 equal to 10. Here the value of x will be any number. So x is a variable here. A statement of equality which involves one or more variables is called an equation. In every equation there should be two sides, left hand side and right hand side and they both should be equal. An equation in which the highest power of the variable is 1 is called a linear variable. Now here are some examples of linear equations here for every variable maximum power is 1. These are some examples of non-linear equations you can see that here the power of the variables are more than 1. And these are the examples of linear equation in one variable. Now let's see how to make some linear equations in one variable according to the given statement. Now here are some given statements. Let's see the first one here. 3 added to x is 8. The equation will be x plus 3 equal to 8. Second one is 5 subtracted from y is 12. The equation will be y minus 5 equal to 12. Third one is 7 less than a number x is 4. Equation will be x minus 7 equal to 4. Fourth one will be 5 times of a number p is 32. The equation will be 5p equal to 32. Fifth one is a number x divided by 4 gives 3. The equation will be x by 4 equal to 3 last one is x multiplied by itself is 5 more than it it will be x square minus 5 plus x here are some more examples the sum of a number x and twice the number y is 15 the equation will be x plus 2y equal to 15. 4 less from thrice a number m is 14. The equation will be 3m minus 4 equal to 14. Last one is the sum of the number x and each squared is 20. The equation will be x plus x square equal to 20. This is the example of an equation and I have to prove here that left hand side equal to right hand side. Now I am putting the value of y equal to 9 in the left hand side of this equation. Now you can see after putting the value of y equal to 9 the left hand side value became same as right hand side that is 8. Now let's see another example. Here a given equation is there and I have to solve the equation means we have to find out the value of x here. Now to find out the value of x I have to solve the first bracket here first and after getting the values we have to 
separate the plus signs in the left side and negative signs in the right side and then we have to find out the value of x as shown in my process. So after solving the equation we got the value of x equal to 5 here. Now there is an option of verification here means uh, the value of x equal to 5 this is correct answer or not we can verify by putting the value of x is equal to 5 in the left side here now you can see the value of x equal to 5 putting at the left hand side of the equation this will be the value we got exactly equal to the value of right hand side of the equation so it is proved that the equation is correct so here you can see that putting the value of x is equal to 5 we got 40 and this is exactly the same as the value of the equation at the right side also so it is proved so i hope my today's video will become helpful for your study stay tuned to my channel and definitely follow my all channel videos to get good marks in science and mathematics bye bye